when you think about vulnerability, you oftentimes think about it as a weakness, as being too soft, especially in business. And the data suggests that leaders who are vulnerable are far more trusted by their employees. People who are vulnerable tend to start more intimate relationships. We talked to a uh, police officer from San Jose down the street who is a hostage negotiator. And when we think of hostage negotiators, you oftentimes think of guys who are very gruff. You think of Bruce Willis types, right? And this guy's job is, imagine this, right? Someone took a hostage, and you have to basically talk them down. And you can't shoot them or anything like that because the hostages will obviously be, be killed. So this guy takes the hostages, and he's uh, a two-time offender already, which means that by getting caught now with the hostages, he's going to automatically go to prison for the rest of his life under three strikes. And the cops have a name for this uh, type of scenario, and it's called suicide by cop. The guy is so afraid of going to jail for the rest of his life that he's going to take himself out in a blaze of glory. And he sits there and he talks to this hostage, and they go, take her. And he talks to him, imagine this, for 15 hours. He doesn't try to intimidate him. He doesn't try to play mind tricks on him. They just have a conversation. And at the end of the conversation, the hostage taker says something about his mother. And he says, yeah, my mother died a while ago. And then Greg, our hostage negotiator, sees an opening. And authentically, he says, yeah, I've, uh, I had my mom uh, die on me, too, this last year. It was this really terrible, painful experience. And all of a sudden, they bond, right? The most unlikely two people in the world all of a sudden click. The police officer and the hostage taker. And they bond so intensely that at the end of the uh, scenario, the guy finally gives himself up. And when he goes out, the SWAT team is ready, ready to pounce on him. And he says, wait, I want to give Greg a hug. And the SWAT team is still angry at Greg to this day. Or the fact that he actually gave the hostage taker a hug. And, and you know, he's saying, OK, so what's the big deal about two people giving each other a hug? I would say the big deal is that when people are, even artificially, told to express a level of vulnerability, they automatically form a connection. And that connection, again, all of a sudden changes the tenor of the relationship. It brings in the soft power element. 